Hey guys, it's Cassie and today I am talking to you about luxury items that I am obsessed with at the moment. Okay, for whatever reason, they have just ignited a little something in my soul and I wanted to share them with you. A couple of these I have, but a lot of them I don't and they're, they're almost on a, shall we say, a preliminary wish list. Okay, they're on probation until they maybe graduate onto wish list level. <laughs> guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I've had videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. Sit down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. The links to these items will be below. This is second day hair and it's playing up and it's annoying me. First item that I have been obsessed with for a few months now, okay? Vivian Westwood corsets. Oh my gosh, corsets are a huge trend. We're seeing them in lots of different ways. We're seeing them built into jackets and shirts and things like that. You've got brands like Dion Lee that are doing it in a, I don't know, edgy-ish way. But Vivian Westwood corsets have always had my heart. There's something so literally just plucked out of the gardens of Versailles about them. You know, there's something very Bridgerton. I have always, they've always sort of been on my lifelong wish list. Like, oh, at some point I'll get one, you know? They're beautiful. I particularly have fallen in love with the ones that look like Renaissance paintings and they've got cherubs and they're just, oh, just like plucked from the walls of the Louvre. But I thought if we're gonna talk about pairing things with my wardrobe and what's gonna be the most versatile for me, I think those ones are a little bit harder to match with my wardrobe. So, I got one. Oh my gosh. And when I tell you, I'm gonna have inserts of me wearing it, okay? Because it is quite an experience. It is, this is a corset, okay? This is, do you hear? That is boning there, front and back. You've got the gold zip up the back. I like that it has these mesh, very breathable, little bit stretchy sides. So you're not gonna feel like your insides are being strangled, essentially. Now, I got this from Essence. Essence is kindly sponsoring this part of the video. If you didn't know, Essence is a Canadian international luxury retailer. They have a very interesting list of brands. Obviously, you'll see brands on there that we, we know all about, okay, the usual suspects, but they tend to have a really great selection of emerging designers, designers maybe that you haven't heard of, graduate designers, things like that, especially if you're looking for something a little bit interesting, a little bit different, a little bit off the beaten path, and a really great Vivian Westwood selection, hence this corset. Now, I got a size 42 in this and it's perfect. I'm glad that I didn't go any smaller or any bigger. It just fits nicely to the body. I also did get a Vivian, this is called the Kral shirt. Now, I've got one Vivian Westwood shirt from um, that I've had for absolutely years. And I just love the tailoring because she's powerful. She's got a strong collar and you know, I love a strong collar. So I saw this one and I was like, well, 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 I think that you are going to pair absolutely fabulously with the corset. And then obviously for all of your white shirt needs. Honestly, there were far too many things that I wanted in the Vivian Westwood section on Essence. Again, I got this in a size 42 as well. Now, Essence is currently doing a 15% off promo code. It's going to be on the screen for you. This lasts until the 10th of October. Obviously there are some brand exclusions, but I got these with my 15% off. So ring a ding ding. Essence is a, is a global retailer, so this should work for everybody. Thank you so much to Essence for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, the next, the next piece. I have a confession. Confession time, sit down, no judgment zone. I bought these. I currently do not have them. I return them and I am considering maybe I need to buy them again. Jean-Paul Gaultier, I've kind of been obsessed with his ready to wear line. And I saw these earrings and I just thought, they're not everyday earrings, okay? This isn't, do you wanna go grab some lunch? Do you want to grab a salad? Do you want to grab a pasta? Situation. This is, we are going to X spot. I want to turn out a look with a capital L. Put these on. These are very fashiony. These are very eventy. <laughs> and I, you know, I wouldn't wear them an incredible number of times in a year, but my gosh, I can just imagine the looks I would turn out with these. 
<gasps> they're crazy, they're over the top, they're absolutely ginormous. And I just love how insanely extra they are. I've not seen anything like this. They've got a JP and a G on one side, Jean-Paul Gaultier for clarity. And it's, it's the metallic green. You know, I love a metallic slime green. It matches my Bottega perfectly. It matches my Decorie heels perfectly. <gasps> Oh gosh, I can just env envision the life we had together. And we did for a moment. We had that. Do I need to get them again? Speaking of metallics, Bottega Veneta, padded cassette, gold or silver. End of sentence, end of conversation. Thank you very much, goodbye. So we know I have the padded chain cassette. I have seen the padded cassette out and about in New York. It's actually one of the most like regular designer bags that I've seen a lot here, but anyway. And obviously she's a lot lighter than the chain cassette. She's a lot more usable, shall we say. I saw the metallics and they are molten and delicious. And you know, they look like, oh, uh, they just look, so glorious. I just love how rich the metallics are. They do them in silver and gold. I love the gold. Do I need another padded cassette? I don't know. Really, the safest way to play this is with block colours. Any colours, as long as they're blocked. Top it off and you're good to go. Are you a silver or a gold gal? I don't know, I could do either and I love them. Alessandra Rich, I was in Selfridges minding my business and I saw this little cashmere sleeveless vest with crystals raining down from the neck of it. And I just thought, just a little something, but it's packing a punch. Like this is one of those pieces that you can layer and layer and bring out fall winter after fall winter after fall winter and turn out a fabulous little moment that's just a little bit something extra than your usual sort of sleeveless little woolly vest. But she's fun and she's got crystal. Oh, you know me, if it's got crystals, I love it. Speaking of crystals, speaking of Alessandra Rich, if you saw my last London vlog, I have not stopped thinking about this dress, but I have nowhere to wear it. Hear me out because it's very rogue. It's all mesh. It's got a smattering, just a smattering of crystals all over it. It's got a, it's got a latexy looking patent ruffle here, right? It's quite high necked. I love the juxtaposition of the silhouette of this dress being quite prim and proper, right? It's got a ruffle, it's quite high necked, it's long sleeves, it's a midi length but it's made out of mesh. So all of a sudden it's just like, uh, 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 these two aesthetics going on here, what's happening? Obviously I would wear like a shapewear underneath it, like a black bodysuit. Where am I going in that? Right? I need an opportunity. I need a moment. Anybody want me to talk to celebrities about what they're wearing on the red carpet? I would wear this. There we go. So I love it. I just have nowhere to wear it. I'm obsessed with it. Is it one of those things that you buy anyway and just wait for the moment? I don't know, but I love it. I'm really having quite a metallic moment. Okay, item number six, Jimmy Choo gold sodding knee high wedge boots. I just love how over the top statement just like bam gold shoe and it's again that rich it's because it's with a patent leather it looks liquid it just looks like molten gold and it, oh i want to i love it uh pointed toe wedge boot here's my issue i don't think my calves are gonna fit inside but if you are looking for a statement shoe please rock this for me this has to be the main course of the outfit okay this is all black that all white that any all color monochrome color with those boots bam give them a show oh paparazzi flashing have a moment milk it those are the sodding boots yeah this is a bit of a weird one actually magda butram the girls love magda butram magda butram really hasn't been my aesthetic but i saw these two pieces paired together and i was like I kind of love the vibe that you're giving me here, which is there is a Jersey corset, again, corset vibes, but it's in Jersey. So you're taking something that is quite traditionally a dressy piece and you're making it out of a fabric that is traditionally meant for the home, loungy, relaxed. And I like that together. 
paired with a wide leg jogger. And I don't know what, about, again, it's the juxtaposition within the juxtaposition, it's the inception of the look. It is the combination of dressed up, dressed down. I think that it's like just a very sick look that you could wear to dinner. It's giving, oh, this, yeah, I just threw it together and happened to be gloriously fashion forward. You know, it's one of those pieces. I'm just gonna say it, you could do this with like a chandelier costume jewelry earring. You could wear this to the sodding club, like, I don't know, I haven't been to the club in a long time. That might be a rogue comment, but I really like it. Next up, uh, a brand that I've not heard of before, but I saw this piece. I've actually included it in a community post recently. This is the Merrill, I think you pronounce her last name, Robe. Where did you get those bees from, Cassie? Rog, Rogy? Cashmere top. Now, I really like this because it's actually two pieces worn as one. I like that little collar. It's kind of a turtleneck with a cutout, but you can also fold it down and she's a tiny collar. Love. It's cashmere, it's going to be glorious and fabulously soft on the body. I love this with a high waisted trouser, something like this with my Mugler trousers that I just got. Mm, deliciousness. Something like this with a wide leg sweatpant maybe the daily paper ones that I just bought. It's very effortless chic. I don't know if things are getting a little bit too cold here for me to make use of this at the moment, but oh, it's so nice. The next one, Jacob & Co, the, let me pronounce this right, Estribo collection. Now, Jacob & Co, when you say that, I think of 2003, big ass watches, on every wrapper. Then I just sort of thought that they'd gone bust after that, to be honest with you. No, they're thriving, <laughs> as far as I know. And I saw these in a little glass case and I was like, love that, who the hell are you by? Who made you? Who, who thought you up and then put you out? Jacob and Co, look at this bracelet and ring. There's a bracelet, there's a ring. It's basically just like a bangle with a bar and that bar is fully parveyed in diamonds. She's show-stopping, but she would also really work well with whatever stack you've got going on. The ring as well, that's gonna stack nicely. Oh, there are too many like really good fine jewelry pieces out at the moment. And my 30th is coming up, I know and I think I need to decide what I want to get myself for that. Oh my gosh, this is one of the front runners. And my final item. It is a little bit chilly outside, so you know what that means, it's boot season. And like Mariah Carey, when she sort of wakes up after 10 months of the year having a little career nap, right, and she goes, it's sodding time. Uh, yeah, right, we all know. Much like that, it is time once again for me to plug the Renee Calvilla, Calvia, do we have any confirmation on pronunciation, please? Cleo boots. Ignore this because she looks a bit strangled. That's because, yeah, I haven't worn her in the last how many months, you know? The best sodding boots around. Absolutely no contest. I love them. If I could only have one pair of boots, it would be this. I love them. They are hard wearing, they're durable. The leather is beautifully soft. It wears well. Look, I wore these absolutely non-stop last year because they go with everything. They go with jeans, they go with leggings, they go with skirts, they go with dresses. This, this just gives a pizzazz. You'll be compliments showered on you as soon as you leave the house in these boots because it's different but with the way that the crystals are done it doesn't look too much it's not like you've committed to something you know crazy statementy it's something so simple with a pop now they do these in a few colors they do brown they do white they also do ones with sort of like bluish grayish crystals true to size absolute one of my best purchases ever full stop thank you so much essence for sponsoring this video remember the code it ends on the 10th of october i'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys